Let us understand how do we multiply the polynomials and write equivalent expressions for area and perimeter. We have four examples in this particular video. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll understand how do we write polynomial expressions for area and perimeter when different shapes are given to us with binomial expressions as one of their sides. You see four figures here, a rectangle, a circle, and two right triangles. The question here is, right expression for the perimeter and area of given rectangle. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the very first one, which is rectangle. So as you know, area of a rectangle is what? Let's write down the formula first, and then we'll write the polynomial expression. Well, the area of a rectangle is given as length into width. In this side, we are given length L as equal to 10y plus 2. And width w is given to us as 9y minus 9. Now, all these angles here are right angle triangles, right? Right angle corners for the rectangle. So, we can find area as the product of length and width. So, area can be now written as equal to 10y plus 2 times 7y minus 9. We can now apply the distributive property, and that is multiplying each term, right, with 10y first, and then with 2. And then we are going to combine the like terms. Mm -hmm. So we get 10y times 7y as 70y squared. And then with 9 minus, we get minus 90y. Multiplying by 2, we get plus 14y, and then minus 9 times 2 gives us negative 18. Now, here we can now combine the like terms. As you can see, these are the two like terms. Let us combine them and write down the final answer, which will be 70y squared, and minus 90 plus 14 will give us what? Taking away 14 from 90, we get 6 and then 8 take away 1 is 76, negative sign, and then we have minus 18. So that becomes the expression for area. Of course, units will be unit square, correct? So I hope the steps are clear. Now let's find the perimeter for the same. So perimeter of a rectangle is given as twice length plus width. We know what length is, right? So length is equal to 10y plus 2 and width w is equal to 7y minus 9. Substituting these values, we get the perimeter, which is 2 times. I prefer to use brackets, right, whenever you do it. So write length as 10y plus 2 and substitute w, the width, as 7y minus 9. Now you can combine the like terms. 10y plus 7y is 17y and then minus 9 and 2 gives us minus 7. Now we can apply the distributive property to open, multiplying each term with 2, correct? So if you do that, what do you get? You get 2 times 17, which is 34y, minus 2 times 7, which is 14. Units will be like units, right? So we get the perimeter of the rectangle. Let's move on and find out area and perimeter of the triangle. Note that the triangle given to us is a right angle triangle. So what is the area? 
Well, the area of a triangle is half of base times height. Now, base and height are the shorter sides. So, we can use one of those sides as the base and the other one as the height. So, let's call this as the base and this as the height. So, from the figure, we can say that the base B is equal to 8x plus 2 and the height H is equal to 5x minus 4. So, now we can write down the area of this particular triangle which is half times within brackets I am writing 8x plus 2 for the base and within brackets for the height 5x minus 4. Now, brackets are important. You have to apply the distributive property, right? So, so that gives us half of multiplying with 8x, we get what? So, first we are going to multiply with 8x both the terms, right? And we get 8 times 5 as 40, x times x as x squared, right? With minus 4, we get 32x. With 2, we get plus 10x and minus 8. We can combine the like terms which you can see here. These are the like terms since both of them have x in them. So, we have this as half of 40x square minus 32 plus 10. All right? So, we have to take away one from the other. So, that gives us minus 22x minus 8. Multiplying by half, we get 20x squared minus 11x minus 4 unit square as the area of the given triangle. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now, for the same triangle, let's find the perimeter. So, once again, perimeter of a triangle is what? Well, perimeter is sum of size, right? So, we are going to add them all. So, if I add, we get what? We get 8x plus 2, that is one side. The other one, 5x minus 4. And the third one is 9x plus 3. Right. So, when you add them, we have to add them, right? So, let me write add in between, correct? So, these are the sides which will be added, not multiplied, okay? So, when you add, you have to add the like terms. 8 plus 5 is 13 plus 9, 22. So, we get 22x. And now the numbers. Plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1. So, that is what you get the perimeter of this particular triangle. Units will be any units, right? So, we just write units as it was not given to you. Now, here is a practice test question for you. So, here is a right triangle, right? And you have to find area and perimeter of this triangle. Clearly, the area is equals to half. Identify base and height, okay? Multiply them and get your answer. The shorter sides are base and height, right? So, you have 3x plus 1 times 6x plus 2. Perfect. So, Expand, simplify, write down your answer. Similarly, you can find the perimeter as sum of these three sides, right? So, which is 3x plus 1 plus 6x plus 2 plus the third side, 8x minus 2. Feel free to write these answers as comments. Now, let's take up the circle. So, in the case of a circle, Let's find the perimeter first. Now, what is the perimeter of a circle? Well, perimeter of the circle is also called circumference. Well, circumference is a common name, right? And the formula is 2 pi r. Now, in this case, we are given the radius of the circle as x plus 1. Since radius is x plus 1, we can write circumference let's call this as equal to c, right? Or perimeter as equals to 2 pi times x plus 1. 
So, you can expand writing this as 2 pi x plus 2 pi. So, that becomes the circumference units, linear length units. Is that okay? Now, let us do the last example which is area of a circle. Well, the area of a circle is given as what? Area of a circle is pi r square. So, in this case, we know r is equal to x plus 1. So, now let us write down the area a of this particular circle. It will be pi r square means x plus 1 whole square. Now, that really means you are multiplying x plus 1 by itself. Correct? And now, let us do that. So, x times x is x square, x times 1 is x, then with 1, you get x and 1. Combine the like terms, we get pi x square plus 2x plus 1. Open the brackets, we have pi x square, right, plus 2 pi x plus pi as the area in unit square. So, all the areas, unit will be unit square and that for circumference or the perimeters will be units. So, with that we come to an end of this particular video and I hope you understand how do we find a polynomial expression for area and perimeter of the shapes. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.